My eyes itch. Hello, friendos. This is Mark Sparks. Earlier this week, I put out a tweet saying, uh, give me some questions to answer, because I haven't done a Q&A in, like, a year or a year and a half and I felt like it was time because you guys still have a lot of questions however I am NOT going to be answer questions that I've answered in previous videos so if you want to check out my other Q&A's if I didn't answer your question they might be justified in another video so go check those out so I put out a tweet and you guys responded so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start this off moms of furries asked as a more well-known furry, do you feel that there is pressure to behave in a certain way to uphold a particular standard of behavior? Um, so I view it the way that I viewed the military. As someone who withholds a platform on the internet, uh, and like, especially the, the way that I try to view myself, is like when I was in the military, because no matter what you do while you're in the army, you're still an ambassador for the United States government, no matter what you do. So I do view it in that same sense, because no matter what I do, I'm still, you know, I, I still have to show my content and show myself to 23,000 people now. No matter what, if you're somebody who holds some sort of spotlight, you do have to act in a certain way because you're not just yourself, you are you are selling your brand or you're selling, you know, your platform in some sort of way, way or form. And that's just how it has to be. Tokyozilla, are you my father? Provide the proper documentation to support the evidence in which your statement is providing. Dalmi said, what short-term goals have you set for yourself in the next few months? Any long-term goals for the next year or more? I want to try to become more professional with this. I, I struggle a lot in how professional my editing is and how professional my upload schedule is. I, I ultimately, <laughs> Because of how much I'm traveling and how much I'm moving around, it's very difficult for me to both come up with the ideas for a video and also edit them in the proper time to get it so that I can possibly upload once a week. But for now, I'm just uploading when I can, which is my ultimate goal for right now is to post at least two or three times a month, but I wanna get it down to some sort of rhythm that I could post it every week. Uh, the only problem with that is, is that I just have trouble finding the creative energy to go into these things. My short-term goal is to be able to post once a week. Um, long-term goal is to be, <laughs> I know it sounds dumb, but my long-term goal is to be more like Majira. Not because he's popular or not because, you know, anything like that. He has a great audience and people love him for who he is, but also, I, I love his professionality. I love how he organizes things and how he's able to manage everything that he's got going on in his life. I really admire that. Time management is ultimately something that I, look, I need to work on. You know, I'd like to be more like my friends because they're better than me. <laughs> Sending out, are you Majira? Only the white one. Glitch says, what, who would win in a fight? You were a canine unit, and also, how long were you active service? Uh, the canine unit would destroy me. So, yeah, no, dogs. Dogs always win. But also, active service I was in for four and a half years. Uh, I enlisted in 2013 and made it all the way to 2018 before I got out. PK Russell, hi. I hope you enjoyed the furry convention. And also, that was an amazing video, and I'm sorry I'm a terrible cameraman. PK Russell says, what inspired you to become a vapist? I smoked since I was the age of 14 and I needed to stop because the military was destroying my body as well as the cigarettes was making it even worse. So I became a vapist. So the reason why I vape is because cigarettes are much, much worse for you than vaping. I know vaping still isn't good for you, but it's better than cigarettes because vaping doesn't include tar and all the other formaldehydes and chemicals that go into cigarettes. Vaping is literally just sugar and oil and nicotine that goes into an atomizer. Nicotine's a drug, but so is caffeine, kids. Triforce asks, was Mark your first persona? Yes. Many people don't know this, but he wasn't originally a husky, but I'm not gonna answer what he was, but he's always been my character. It's just he's gone through some changes ever since I first developed him in 2009. Furbots ask, what made you settle on a husky for a persona? 
And if you couldn't pick a husky, what would you choose? Well, settling sounds bad. <coughs> Why am I burping? Um, settling on a husky sounds bad because uh, huskies are the best. But if I couldn't pick a husky, I'd pick a red panda. So Oreo Jam 64S was my favorite color. I know I've answered this in previous videos, but he said the more specific, the better. So royal blue, royal blue. Uh, Haskita Sasuke says, what was your first reaction to the Majira army trend? Uh, well, I kind of helped start that. <laughs> uh, because Omnom texted me while I was extremely intoxicated at Megaplex and told me to change my name to White Majira. And they got all my friends there to change their name to a different color Majira. And so that's how that happened. So my initial reaction was drunk. Justin Laviette asks, what is your favorite board game? Risk. The game of global domination. Night Frost asks, thoughts on younger furries? What should the older people in the fandom do to make sure the furry fandom has a future with the young furs? I think that ultimately, as younger people in the fandom, since I was there uh, back in 2009, when I joined the fandom at 13, I did the same thing that most young furries do, which is find some art piece on Google Images and upload that as my character on MySpace. <laughs> Why am I burping? It's only whenever I'm trying to film that I burp. It's annoying as hell. There needs to be some sort of guidelines for younger furries to help understand. Most of the stuff that like young furries don't understand, they usually just get called out for, or they get told, you know, hey, this is wrong. Don't do that. There needs to be some sort of guideline set. And I think that other furry YouTubers have talked about this in the past, but so I think that there's already a lot of things that help younger furries get into the fandom. But I do think that there needs to be some sort of like helping hand into it, like kind of a tour guide. That's like, hey, welcome to the fandom. Don't trace art, kids. Dangelicious dog, that's a weird name. Would you ever collab with a smaller YouTube account? Yes, I have had this idea for a while, but I've never actually acted on it, which is to collab with a smaller furry YouTuber and have them edit my video while I edit their video. I've always had that idea, but I've never acted on it. So if you're a smaller furry YouTuber and you want to try and act in on this, hit me up. I want to make it happen. Dash the Wolf asks, what's your favorite moment of this year so far? Ah, that's a hard one. I think my favorite moment of this year so far is when, which this is recent, so that shows you how short term my memory is, but when we, me and Gers and Ace of Hearts Fox and Clocky and 12 and Majira and Kiwi all went to Epcot because that was something I know Gers was really excited about. And also just the fact that like Gers cares a lot about Disney and I haven't been to Epcot since I was like six. So getting to relive some of the experiences I remember from my childhood as well as go on something that I know that my girlfriend cares about and also some of my friends really cared about was uh, a great experience. Dragor 2 k how's it going buddy? I haven't talked to you since the last con we were all at a panel at. For those of you who don't know who Dragor 2 k is, Dragor 2 k is an amazing entertainer who I have had the pleasure of sharing a panel with at different conventions and he has saved my butt in the comedical standpoints because I suck at improv comedy and he helped me out. Who is a new person in furry that's doing something that caught your eye? So I know that this person was in Majira's video, uh, but this, there's a guy named Verplex. Verplex is somebody who has caught my eye multiple times. The guy originally caught my eye when he made an EDM song to Majira, and now he's gone through and like basically just showed up in everybody and was like, making everybody their own songs and, and doing these cool videos. And he's 15 years old. Like the dude is a phenomenal artist. He's a great YouTuber and he's only 15. Ryan the Fox asks, what kind of music do you like? And who's your favorite artist? I think, have I answered this in a previous video? I feel, it might be different now. No, it's not. It's not? No. Why not answer it again? Uh, favorite music is heavy metal, but I do like every other types of music except for new rap and new country. Um, and my favorite artist is Winds of Plague. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's it! Yay! I made it through a Q&A video. Guys, for this video, the guy I mentioned before, Verplex, has allowed me to use the music that he created for me as an outro to this video, as well as the stuff that will be on the outro is all kind of new. 
because I'm trying to promote my merchandise. So if you'd like to go find my merchandise, you can find the links down below. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm going to try to create more content for you guys as soon as I can. So goodbye, friendos. Oh, oh, hi. Sorry. Oh. Didn't see you there. Hi. My name is Mark Sparks. Here today, I'm going to be teaching you how to play the drums in an easy to learn tutorial.